Transformational Eco-Human Progress. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 131. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 131, September 27th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or if you'd like to manage your email subscriptions through YouTube, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the recreation and relaxation lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of recreation and relaxation. We also wrote the second third of the creativity lesson plan behind the scenes, bringing the written portion of that one to about 65% complete. And finally, we completed and added the final 25% of the mind map for the social relationships lesson plan to the web page, bringing that to 100% complete. You can see that finished mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Maoka hub. We also finished and added preparation information for Ahipa, Maka, Arakacha, and Kabakui to their respective sections of our open source large scale gardening hub. This means that portion of our website is now 100% complete. Last but not least, we added three different recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are Red Velvet Protein Smoothie, Tabule Style Pasta, and Polenta Lognese. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued what we hope will be the final revisions of the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work's being done behind the scenes and included placement procedures for polyethylene, creating a more thorough step-by-step -step instruction guide for the stem and buttress wall construction, detailed narrative rewrite for baling twine tying and barbed wire installation, and adding corbeling data specifics. We'd say we're now 30% complete with this behind the scenes revision. We also updated the AutoCAD file for the footers, foundation, and flooring to include more and updated specifics, and also more colors. 
this all to make it easier to understand. We additionally updated 3 House Village Pod 7 with a new header image and overview of what this village is all about, and the 3D interactives from Gilberto, 3D animation designer. We'd say this initial setup puts us at about 5% complete with this page that will be extremely detailed and informative when done. Last but not least, on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, we discussed behind the scenes the aesthetics of what the central foldable chimney will look like and updated the AutoCAD file to reflect the placement of the winch system that will move it out of the way. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week we worked on updating the Dining Dome Staircase, Under Staircase Storage, Second Floor Dining Area Layout, and Second Floor Railings. We'd say we're now about 55% complete with the total 3D update. We also began transferring the updates from Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to the Control Systems and Automation page. You can see this work here, and we'd say we're about 20% complete with the total page redesign. Behind the scenes, Lucas Tatsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student worked, uh, working under Mike's guidance, also resumed work on one of the room connector decks for the control systems for the Duplicable City Center. You can see this developing here. And last but not least, Hanata Mahara, Civil engineering student also finished the first major draft of the city center window and door plan. This collage shows this work. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued updating all our Help Wanted pages in our online marketing campaigns. Initial focus has been for web and graphic designer help, and we finished the other 50% of redesigning the Seeking Graphic Designers page that you can see here. We also updated the Seeking Educators and Creative Minds page and associated Help Wanted ads and requests. Along with this, we added a clear request to all of our application pages for people interested in joining us as a member of our management team. And last but not least, Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, also completed the first 50% of writing the open source and copyrights and trademarking tutorial. He did this behind the scenes, and what you see here is a snapshot of this completed work that covers what and why copywriting and trademarking is important for an open source organization like One Community. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community believes that the human species is ready for transformational eco-human progress that can create a world that works for everyone. We believe that it's time as a species to simultaneously address all of the challenges of our generation in a way that will create a sustainable planet and a way of living for everyone. We believe that there's enough resources, knowledge, technology already in existence to do this if enough people participate. And so we are creating open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to teach people exactly that. We call these solution models designed to create additional solution creating models. And our idea is if we make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, that the idea will multiply, replicate, and spread on its own. Spreading across the planet and transforming this world with people involved in creating a better world for themselves, and creating for a better life for themselves, and creating a better world for their community and everyone around them, and helping others do the same. We think that people will want to do this because we're taking a combination of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, and combining that with components and elements of emotional sustainability, which are highest good living components like fulfilled living practices, education, highest good new paradigm education models, highest good economics, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability built on a foundation of traditional sustainability so that people can create a better way of living for themselves and their families and their friends, people that they care about most, in a way that also helps the rest of the world too.
to accomplish all of this, this idea of transformational eco-human progress. We're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that see this as not only possible, but possible in our generation and worth investing their time and energy in right now. People that believe that we can be the change that we want to see in the world, and we're doing it right now. There's lots of different ways to participate and make it as easy as possible. The simplest way is to participate through social media. Sharing our information helps us to get the information out to the people that are interested in it and want it most. But we also have opportunities for people to join us as volunteers or consultants or as the pioneer team that meets every single week via teleconference and is organizing everything behind the scenes and planning to move to the property and actually build everything that is one community to create the initial prototype that people will be able to come and visit, experience if they like what they experience, if they like the 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 reality, the experience, the living experience of being a part of one community, then they'll be able to take everything that they learn and build a version of that for themselves. This is what we're doing. This is our path to transformational eco-human progress, is to teach people how to be eco-humans and to create a progressive method for people to do that easily, to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate as attractive enough that we can reach that tipping point of global participation so that the models that we're designing and the many iterations and spin-offs that will come from those open source models can positively and permanently impact the lives of every living person and creature on this planet. People ask all the time, what is the number one thing that one community is seeking right now? We are still seeking large-scale funding. Our organization is an all-volunteer, unpaid organization. So there are no salaries. Every dollar that gets donated to us goes to helping forward our open source goals to supporting our nonprofit, but it doesn't go into salaries or paying any of our members, but we're still seeking large scale funding. Either the individual or organization with the means to either invest in one community and help us to get the property off the market that we have been looking at and working around and working with the county for now for almost five years to help us get that property off the market so we can disclose the location, so we can start actually doing work on the property so we can start building. That is the number one thing that we're seeking right now. That said, all the small donations, all the emails, all of the comments that we get in Facebook and social media and LinkedIn, Twitter, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, for people to have access to our information. All the comments, all the shares, all the emails, all the small donations, the five, the 10, the 15, the $50, the $100 donations, which we get every once in a while, all of those things are hugely helpful. They allow us to keep moving forward at the rate that we are and make it so that our members don't have to pay too much out of their pocket to keep the whole thing rolling forward. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that participates in whatever way is working best for you. Thank you for following us. Thank you for supporting us. As always, if you'd like more de details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we report on every single week, you can visit our written blog. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to receive uh, notifications that way every time one of our weekly updates comes out. Thank you for liking our videos. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you send email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And we will, of course, until next week, keep on keeping on. So thank you for following our progress and supporting us in the way that you do. Thanks.